Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Ups Beginner Series. You are watching 13th part of this series and in this session we are going to talk about gallery and data table control in Power Ups. So now let's get started. In my earlier sessions, we have discussed about how we can create data table and custom gallery control inside the Power Apps. In my previous session, we have created this type of data table and this type of custom gallery control over there. Now you have confused in between where to use data table and where to use gallery control. And what is the basic difference between the gallery and data table control? I am going to explain you this thing in detail during this session. Let me move over to my app and let me show you that thing in detail. So this is my data table grid and this is my gallery grid, right? Now, the first basic difference is that in data table, the headers are created automatically. While in case of gallery, we need to manually provide the header. Here, basically we, we, we have taken two different galleries, one to show these line items and one is for showing the header, right? Now, second difference is that we can't add column apart from any data source column. Let's say this is my data table and now if I want to add edit icon for each individual line item, then I cannot add edit button over here. The reason is that data table doesn't allow you to add any column which is not a part of data source. So that is one limitation. While in case of gallery, we can customize based on our requirement. Like I want to add edit icon for each individual item. So I can easily add edit icon over here, right? Now, third limitation is that this data table is something which provides this horizontal scroll as well. While in case of gallery, we cannot add horizontal scroll, right? This data table creation process is very simple and it's very easy. It will just take few clicks and your data table will be re ready. While in case of gallery, we need to set each individual label manually. So it will take lots of time and designing is also something that, that we need to spend some extra effort on that. So this is the basic difference in between gallery and data table control. Now. Let me move over to my presentation and let me show you that difference that we have discussed. So these are the three difference that we have discussed in this session, right? So hope this is clear for you now. So basically to summarize the thing, whenever your requirement is something where you want to only show the fields to your grid, use the data table, but where you want to take some actions from your grid like wanted to add some edit icon or wanted to do some unique characters or something like that use the gallery control right so basically in most of the real life project gallery would be the best appropriate solution while we are developing the grid right if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay tuned with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay connected with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.